in which you are held throughout the world. On behalf of those of us who know you personally, I refer also to our affection for Heinz the Mann. The next of our triennial conferences is to be held in New Delhi in January 1993. It would be wonderful if you were able to come. I do not know how much personal exposure you have had in that part of the globe, but it is certain that systems people there would delight in your presence, just as I would be honored to present the award. So, so far, so good, Heinz. <laughs> Heinz was pretty satisfied with that, and I think, and he wrote back and said he would like to come. Now, at this point, there was a completely ludicrous intervention. There were riots. I don't suppose you remember, there were riots in Bombay. This meeting was in New Delhi. The Secretary of State for this great country of the United States of America suggested that there should be nobody go from the States to India because he was unsafe. And the entire American delegation cancelled. Now I was trying to float Heinz's visit on the American delegation, and the whole thing collapsed. And one uh, very distinguished Indian said to me, sucking his teeth a little, I hope that the Secretary of State is forbidding people to go to London, to London in view of the trouble in Bosnia, because that's nearer than Delhi is to Bombay. <laughs> <laughs> I have been uh, chasing you all around the world, trying to give you this medal. <laughs> and uh, tonight I have caught up with you, and I thought better than having a car chase to finish the whole thing off, we would do a nice little closed loop, which I, I thought you would appreciate. <laughs> now, the next thing is that I uh, want to call uh, on... Uh, somebody else to help me in this task. We have a lot of problems with communication, you can imagine, in the World Organization of Systems and Cybernetics. We're supposed to be experts, but it's all very difficult. And I was terribly interested in Heinz, Heinz in your, um, your paper to Nicholas Luhmann, where you say communications is the eigen relation in a recursively operating double closure system. And I was trying to think out what exactly that might mean. And it occurred to me that when I write as president 
and signed my letter, Love and Peace, that's it, to a Frenchman who replies, Avec mes sentiments très distingués. The eigen relation is probably chow. Chow. And we have communication. Exactly. <laughs> is that, is that the chow? not fit exactly. <laughs> Check. I love the <coughs> Now, um, we have with us the, especially for this occasion, this evening's little surprise <coughs> client, uh, the Director General of the World Organization, as well as the President. And he's come especially from France. Some of you heard him talking this afternoon. He is Professor uh, Robert Ballet, uh, now Emeritus of the University of Paris. No. And he has been very, <coughs> very involved in cybernetics. I was talking about communications. We don't do a very good job of communicating internationally about our subjects. Journals get published, but nobody seems to get them, for instance, as uh, Ernst was saying this morning. Uh, so anyway, I therefore want to tell you that uh, Robert uh, has written extensively on what he was calling this afternoon epistemopraxiology. He's written on subjectivity, on the perception of time, many papers on information theory, and recently a book called Cognition et Système. And I think perhaps the thing you would most like to know about him, because it really is interesting in our gathering, he knew Norbert Wiener very well. And he had the privilege of spending a week in Norbert's country house in New Hampshire in 1954. So, you have a very good pedigree, Robert. Would you kindly join me to present this award tonight? By order of the Council of the World Organization of System and Cybernetics, the Norbert Wiener Memorial Gold Medal is awarded to Professor Heinz von Förster in recognition of his exceptional achievements in cybernetics and system science. The scientific activity of Heinz von Förster started with his contacts with the Vienna Circle, developed later as secretary of the Macy's Conferences on Cybernetics, continued with the foundation and direction of the Biological Computer Laboratory of the University of Illinois at Urbana, and resulted in outstanding contribution to self-organization and noise, neurocybernetics, time and memory, and cognition. In this last domain, Heinz von Förster introduced second-order cybernetics, where emphasis is put on the role of the observer and recursive processes, giving rise to a constructivism which is still a source of inspiration and makes him one of the great founders and contributors in the fields of both cybernetics and systems. Interest 
communicating, being together, helping each other, being a member of this society.